Okay, I think that looks good. I might be crooked, but it'll have to do. Hey guys, <laughs> what's up? Um, so I know it's been a little bit since I've last talked to you um, here <laughs> on this channel. And basically, I just wanna say I'm sorry. Um, I have had a lot of stuff happen in my life. As you can tell, I'm in a different location that um, you might not recognize because I actually moved. Um, so that's been a big part of my life. And I actually moved because I started a new job, which um, has kind of been taking up a lot of my time. I just haven't gotten around to filming a video and I actually just unpacked my camera from all the boxes. So I thought I would kind of talk to you guys and take my camera out and do like a little chat catch up video and I might um, kind of show you around my apartment a little bit because I'm very excited. I've actually never lived on my own like by myself. Even when I went to college I always had at least a roommate live with me. So this is kind of the first, well I mean it's not kind of, it actually is like the very first time that I've lived on my own, nobody else. Um, so yeah, I'm, it's kind of an adjustment period. Um, it is kind of different than, you know, even um, living with roommates or living at your parents' house. Um, you're kind of, you have to be self-sufficient, you have to buy your own groceries, and you have to clean and do laundry all by yourself, and it's also kind of lonely when nobody's here, and sometimes you want to talk to people, but other times it's awesome when you just want to like, you know, sing to your, in the shower, you don't have to worry, you can like walk around naked, um, you can talk to yourself on a camera without feeling judged, and so yeah, I'm really enjoying it so far, um, but like I said, it's kind of an adjustment period um, where I'm trying to find, like, a, get a routine down and things like that. So, um, yeah, I've been buying because when I lived with roommates, they all had, um, you know, all of the, like, pots and pans and plates and um, shower curtain and couch and TV and stuff like that so I basically never had to really bring any of that stuff so now that I'm on my own in my own apartment I had to buy pretty much everything I think the only thing that I had I had like a 24 inch TV that I had in my bedroom that I got for Christmas like a couple years ago um, I had I don't know, like various mugs that I've collected over the years. Um, I've had, you know, some blankets and a couple of pillows, um, you know, some decoration stuff that I've kind of collected over the last couple of years. But pretty much other than that, I had to buy everything. <laughs> like, I'm just even looking around the room now, I had to buy my TV, um, coffee table, TV stand, couch, plates, cups, um, pots and pans, which are super expensive, knife, like a knife block, which is also super expensive, and um, like so much other stuff um, that maybe I'll, when I show you around, um, I'll kind of explain a little bit more. Um, I, you know, I didn't realize how expensive it is to live on your own and there's also like a lot of responsibilities like um, utilities. This place um, is, it's one bedroom, one bath, so it's not supposed to be too expensive to heat, but you do, I do have to pay all utilities. So like internet, um, heat, electricity, water, trash, sewer I think is one, recycling, um, there might be a couple other ones, I can't remember. So yeah, I do have to pay all my own utilities, so it's kind of, I've, you know, being the organizational person that I am, I created like a budgeting schedule that kind of shows when, um, when certain bills are due and how much approximately they are so I can budget for them. Um, also including like Hulu and Netflix 
and things like that that also automatically get taken out that I had prior to moving here. <laughs> um, I just kind of rambled like a lot, but basically, yeah, I'm in my own apartment, which is very exciting. I have a new job, which I started a couple weeks ago, so I'm still trying to get, you know, kind of get in the swing of things. Um, like I said, create a routine, learn the culture and find people that you can talk to and get more familiar with, yeah, the company culture. And I got a text. So that's kind of been taking a lot of my time. A really awesome thing about this place, because I do work in downtown Minneapolis now. I don't live in downtown Minneapolis, but I am right on the light rail. Um, so basically I can just get on the light rail and then go straight into Minneapolis and I don't have to drive at all, which is like perfect <laughs> because that was like one thing that I was almost a requirement for when I was looking for a place to live was, you know, I knew where I was working. So I had to take into consideration <laughs> like how to get there and parking is also like crazy expensive in the city. And just the fact that I didn't want to deal with rush hour and parking and all those sorts of things. So I have my new job, um, which I'm excited for. And another thing um, actually that kind of came up that I just kind of wanted to talk to you guys briefly about. When I was moving, uh, I was helping my dad carry a bookcase on the stairs and I missed a step and I landed on my ankle and it immediately started hurting really bad. So um, I couldn't even like stand up. I had to get my dad <laughs> to help me get up, but I couldn't put any weight on my, it was my left ankle. And so my mom took me to the after hours care at, um, I forget where it was, but it was some aftercare hour not an emergency room, it was like urgency room or whatever. And um, the doctor originally thought that I had broken it, which, you know, was not very good considering I was just about to move and start a new job. And, you know, it was kind of <laughs> something that I didn't really want to happen. Um, so he took an x-ray and um, good news is it wasn't broken, which, you know, is good news, but he thought um, I might have accidentally torn a ligament slash and or sprained, just sprained the ankle. Um, so I had to wear a boot and use crutches for a really long time, especially during moving. Like, and I felt really bad because I wasn't able to like help bring any of the boxes in and um, it took me a really long time to unpack everything because you know, I was on crutches and um, I have hardwood floors here. So we brought an office chair that had wheels so I kind of like sat down and used my other leg to like wheel myself around the apartment. So that was kind of something that I had to do for a little bit. It was, it was pretty, um, what a sight to see. Recently this week, I took my boot off, um, to walk around for like the first time, um, since I got it and, um, it's still like sore and I have to be careful when I walk and I can't walk too fast. Um, and if I don't, if like if I sit down for a really long time, it gets sore if I stand back up. And it's also still pretty swollen. Like I can tell the difference between my feet. Um, like even looking at my foot now. Yeah, like the top and the sides of my ankle are still pretty swollen. So, but anyways, that's kind of been a little update. Without further ado, let's see if I can move you guys. Um, Wow, that's that's good lighting. I should have done that. Um, I'm going to show you guys a little bit around my apartment um, because I'm very excited for it. And it is still a work in progress. You know, obviously things <laughs> can move and like I'm not like a big decorator and whatnot. But um, I thought it would be kind of fun to show you around. And I actually keep the lights on. I just got home from work, so, or I keep the lights off, sorry. So, let me turn them on. So, basically, let me turn this around. You walk in from the door, and this is um, washer and dryer. 
and I actually have my crutches still there um, because just in case I need to use them again. And I have some cleaning supplies and laundry um, and that's the boiler so you know it's a nice little closet area and this is kind of like where oops camera strap this is kind of where I put my shoes for the time being and this mat I love um, it says speak friend and enter and I think I got that from my mom and dad um, from Amazon and it's from the Lord of the Rings if <laughs> you didn't know so then we come into the kitchen which I am obsessed with um, I love the dark hardwood cabinets and the floors and the island is just like massive um, yes I do have a little mint um, <laughs> uh, container that I keep mints in um, but this is the fridge and I love using this I've never had a fridge with an ice maker or water dispenser so I use this all the time and this is a knife um, scent that I got from Target and here's some bananas um, and I am obsessed with this bowl I think it's so cute it says just in case so and the spoon says so cheesy and I got this from Vaughn Maurer which is kind of like a Macy's um, department store and the sink is massive it's also very dirty I'm sorry um, massive sink so that's good and I had to buy a toaster and this is my stove and I love this little like spoon rest it's this cat that says I like to the spoon I got that off of Amazon and that's pretty much the kitchen um, and then you come into the living room <laughs> to make sure you weren't zoomed in so I got this couch from Becker Furniture World and it came with these pillows. Um, I actually wanted like a big sectional, but um, I wasn't sure how big the space was. So I'm actually glad that I didn't get a big sectional. I kind of did like a middle middle ground by getting the, the chase at the end, which I love that. And I got this coffee table um, off of overstock.com. And it was super easy to put together. Again, my dad put it together in like 10 minutes all by himself. But it's super cute and it has that second layer of storage, um, which I like. And then this setup is um, my TV stand, which I got from allmodern.com, which I think is actually part of Wayfair, I believe. Like it's like a, a section of them. Um, and then I got this TV from Best Buy. Um, so I just put a little, a few little knickknacks. Um, I got that wolf from the Grand Canyon and this little turtle I got from the flea market in Arizona. And I got that stuffed animal for Valentine's Day from my boyfriend. And I also got, that's the time turner um, thing from Harry Potter. Um, I also got that from my boyfriend. And here's some other little knickknacks if you wanted to take a look at those. And yes, this is Groot. Um, he's so cute. It's actually like a little pot. Um, yeah, like a little plot, pot for plants that I got off of Amazon. But he's just currently sitting there on my TV stand right now. And I got this basket from Target that holds blankets and also has this pillow. And here is the balcony, which I haven't used yet. I have some chairs um, to use that. But I got some plants. These two, let's see, these two are actually bonsai trees. And this one right here is a money tree. Um, I really like them. This is <laughs> just a tub that I had um, some plates in. Um, so I'm thinking about getting like a table to put there eventually but that's that's a work in progress so if we walk this way this is like a little desk area that's also very messy 
Um, this is the office chair that <laughs> I used. So those are kind of some important documents that I still have to put away. My planner, a desk calendar, some office supplies that I still have to use. Also, by the way, a little tangent, this, let's see if it focuses. There we go. This from Lush is like my favorite thing ever. It's mint juleps, um, mint juleps lip scrub. Yes, from Lush. It's Lush. I love it so much. So I highly recommend it. So if we walk this way to the bathroom, my bathroom is something that I really love because it's huge, huge, massive. And I also got, this is memory foam. And you can see my, <laughs> my puffy foot. So this is just my bathroom. I have some products in here. These are kind of some of my favorite shower products at the moment. I love this purple shampoo from, what brand is this? Kristen S, the one purple shampoo. I love this stuff. Um, I got this coffee bean body scrub from Bath and Body Works that I love and it smells really good. This is also like one of my favorites that I've been loving. It's the Garnier Fructis Damage Repairing Treat in Papaya Extract. It smells incredible. And then for body wash, I use this Caress, Evenly Gorgeous, Brown Sugar, Butter stuff. <laughs> and then this is also one of my favorite conditioners. Um, it's just the OGX Argan Oil of Morocco Conditioner. And what is this? This is the CeraVe Hydrating Cleanser, another classic favorite. And I, I picked this up. I thought it would be kind of funny. I've never tried it before. But it is the Poopery Before You Go Original Citrus. So then, just on here are a couple of products that I use. Um, I wrote a blog post about this one. This is the Pharmacy Green Clean Makeup Melt Away Cleansing Balm. I love this stuff. And I recently bought, this is the Flavanon, Flavanon? I'm not sure how to pronounce that, Mud, from Niad. Um, it's a face mask and it's orange and it's supposed to, eh, I'm not 100% sure what it's supposed to do, but I saw it online and I wanted to try it. So that's something that I purchased and I haven't tried it yet. Um, so maybe I'll do like a blog post on it or something if you're interested. Smaller stuff, toothbrush, makeup remover. This is interesting. I have way too much stuff in my like toiletry stuff. This is my favorite perfume at the moment. This is um, YSL Mon Paris. Love that stuff. Um, here's just some other random bits and bobs, tampons, um, extra face masks. Um, nail polish is down here, nail polish remover, extra towels, and up here is extra products. Um, I, I do need to get a new tanning mitt, that one is disgusting. But here's some extra hair stuff, extra lotions, I think. Yeah, shampoo in the back and some extra towels again. So that is pretty much the bathroom. And here is an overview of the bedroom. And this is my little 24 inch TV that I was telling you guys about. And it's currently propped on this box on top of that thing. And this is my camera supply thing that I just unpacked. And this is the infamous bookcase that I dropped going down the stairs. So um, I brought that. I have um, my diploma from college, some books, some more books, and some dental floss. I don't know why that's there. 
um, some more books, and then I also have this really cute sign that <laughs> my mom had. Some other like random stuff that I have no idea what to do with. Um, a twin set for the twins games, and some other random stuff. And then here's the bed. I actually got this comforter is like the softest thing and I got it from allmodern.com I believe and it's gray but it has this really cool I'm not even sure what, like what kind of pattern it is but it's really cool and it's like not too what's the word I'm saying too crazy probably and it's super soft and here's some blankets and my laptop and my pillows this is my little bedside table um, with that <laughs> for all my chargers and um, that's my, my makeup bag, my hair straightener, some gum. Um, this is some my medicine and my boyfriend actually gave me this book, um, Little Moments of Love, a Katana Comics. I follow them on Instagram, or I follow her on Instagram, and we always <laughs> send each other, like, our favorite ones that remind us of each other. So he surprised that with me this past weekend, and it's so cute. I love it. I'll link it in um, the down bar below because it's just so cute, and I think everyone should, like, take a look at it because... It's so cute and I love it. I like to just put that on my nightstand. I got these nightstands from, I have one on that side too, from Target. And I got these little lamps that kind of match the table. Yeah, the tables and my bed. Also from Target. And last but not least is my closet. And also my battery's flashing, so I have to hurry up. This is like one of my favorite parts of the house is my closet. Um, blankets, clothes, more clothes, shoes, more clothes, clothes everywhere, <laughs> suitcase, TV box, more stuff. Yeah, so that's pretty much my closet. Um, that was my little apartment. I hope you enjoyed. Um, yeah, I, I don't know. I, <laughs> it's kind of like a little random video, but I do love watching other people, um, you know, kind of like how they decorate and how they live. And I love watching people's like house tours, apartment tours, everything like that. So I hope you enjoyed this video and my battery is really flashing. So I have to wrap this up. But um, thank you guys so much for watching. If you made it all the way through, like kudos to you. Also, this camera is very heavy. Um, yeah. So, um, thank you guys so much for watching. And, and I will see you guys very soon. Bye!